this football club has done 250 million quid on crap, right? Aaron Ramsdale, I'm going to hold my counsel on him until next season. Because like I said earlier, I've seen this with Leno. Yeah, put him on a pedestal, then he falls off a cliff. So let's just wait with him. He's, he's for me, he's been our best player this season, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say that, and I'm gonna respect him, and I'm gonna say cool. But I want to see what you do next season now, when the Amazon cameras ain't there and you ain't fist pumping to no one. Yeah. Now you go and have a look at Ben White. I don't care what anyone tells me. I've said it from before he started a game for us. That guy is dross. We see again last night he got bullied by a striker who's not played for about six months. Yeah, absolutely bullied. Scored a great own goal, by the way. Well done to him. Yeah, but he's got nice tattoos and he's a pretty boy, so everyone fancies him, right? Then you go Martin Odegaard. I said earlier in, in, in last week's show, Dan James has got a better output for the team that he's playing at compared to what Martin Odegaard's playing at. Everyone ridiculed me for it. Well, put Odegaard in Leeds team, would they be better? They probably wouldn't, would they? Yeah, they probably wouldn't, would they? Let's be real, because every time the guy's pressed, he don't do nothing, right? Tommy Asu, yeah. I don't even know if he was injured, bruv. I think he just got bored of getting skinned by St. Maximin last night. Yeah, I think you, I think you, I think it might he, have been he tapped out. He was like, I'm done, mate. Yeah, same, bro, he, he, wanted, he wanted to go, he wanted to go. There's no, no, no doubt. Yeah, but this is my point, Terry, right? That, that person who's put that tweet out, oh, it's a young squad, yeah, by design. No, I'm proud of the boys, they've been overachieving. Okay, so they've been overachieving them. So we've lost 13 games this season. With a game to go. We lost 13 games last season. How many did Una Emery lose the season before then? Or the season before his actual full season? Because he didn't lose 13. Yeah. So what with Licksteiner and Bellerin sharing right back, right? Kalazanak and Monreal sharing left back. Rob Holding, um, Socrates. Who else did we have at centre back? Do, Callum do you, Chambers at times. I, I hear that. Yeah, do you, do you feel checking that? goal. Sorry. And we have conceded four goals less than we did that season after spending two hundred and fifty million. And I get, and I get that. Is. But when you look at Bukayo Saka as an example, do you think he's good enough to be part of a team that could get you back to the top, like talented wise? And and if so, is our right to get out of him? He is mad overrated. But but before everyone starts crying, yeah, he's mad overrated. But he has been absolutely flogged to death this season. Yeah, why is Nicola Pepe sat on the bench every week? Right? Why is Bukayo Saka playing 90 minutes against Tottenham? What did he do against Tottenham? How did he finish that football match? Yeah, how did he play for so long last night? Yeah, he played the whole game, didn't he, last night? I think. I think yeah. so. I think so, yeah. yeah. I think he finished the game. How? What did he do? I did not know he was on the pitch. That's not necessarily his fault. Yeah, against Tottenham, he got bullied. There's been games this season where I've looked at him and I thought, wow, you are a special talent, man. You're really... And he has got talent. Yeah, let's not get it twisted. He's a top player. But he's 20 years old, Terry. He plays 90 minutes week in, week out, week in, week out, week in, week out. And people, you said it a minute ago, oh, but you've got no one else. Yeah, we have. Got Pepe on the bench, mate. Yeah, why, why don't we use him? Because he's hardly played all season, so why aren't we using him? There's something not right with that Pepe. Yeah, it's not him. It's like not right with that deal. Yeah, because for me, I think uh, Raul Sinelli allegedly left because of that deal. Something allegedly. I, I'm, telling you what it is. I'm, I'm telling you, I know what it is. Without, without knowing facts. There's bonuses. There's, it, there's extra it, it, money. Appearances. Listen, we had, yeah. we had, when I was working with UFF, we had uh, Ross Smith's dad come on the show, uh, John Smith. Uh, who, got John Smith. Who's proper agent. It's mad, actually. I was on an aeroplane the other week, and I was sitting there chilling. And I looked up. And I just see his face on the screen. Somebody's watching a Premier League show on the plane, and his face was there. It's was just weird. Like, I've never been on a plane and seen it seen happen. Anyway, I digress. He was speaking about the Arshavin deal and how Arshavin had, like, clauses in his contract, which meant if he got subbed off before, like, the 70th minute, he would be paid less. And, he was and then one of the gooners in the room was like, oh, we used to get annoyed. He was always taken off 65 minutes in. Yeah. Well, it was a financial decision. And these things exist. And I, I wouldn't be surprised. within in the UFF right. studio. Me and you were there, yeah, and he was telling us some stories. And he told us, yeah, you were there that day. I forget, yeah, yeah. you were there. I forget, yeah. yeah and yeah, he yeah. told he told us about how he paid the one point three million out of his own pocket to get that Arsh having deal done for Arsenal, and then because he just wired him the money. Do you remember that? I know he didn't even get the drinks in, did he? Do you know what I mean? One point three <laughs> playing around. Do you know what I'm saying? But listen, and this is the thing. So the Pepe deal, in my opinion, will be, and it might not even be what he gets. It might be the case. And remember, deals aren't very rarely is a deal seventy two million pound cash. We know you're paying in installments, but a lot yeah. of that. And that's normal, but a lot of that is sometimes 
uh, bonus related. And it could be that if he plays over a certain amount of appearances or minutes... Or scores goals. Or scores goals, th then the club are owed more. So it's like, well, we're not going to put... And this, and this is why... These are the things I want the blue ticks. These are the things I would demand the journalists. And there are some journalists out there that, get, that, that put out great news and very popular. I want to see those questions being asked. The problem that you have is that they... The journal, a lot of journalists now have become. They're not journalists, Terry. They, they're they're puppets. They're, they're the mouthpiece of the football clubs, and yeah. that's what bothers me. And and again, I say it, and Gunas think I'm attacking their club. I, I swear to you, on anything you want me to swear on, I'll swear this on because it's on. I'm being honest. I actually care. I care about the fact that, and I say that, and it's a bit bit deep. But football is a huge part of the culture of this country. It's a huge part of my life. You know, and, and I, I, I said that thing last night about the middle class taking over football, and I, I've got no issue with new diff, new and different types of people coming in. But it was built by the working class men and women of these local areas, and there's something about it that I think needs to be protected. And when you get greedy owners from it, I don't care, I don't, I don't care where they're from. When you get greedy owners that aren't running clubs properly, I want to call it out. And when I see it being protected by fan bases, it really bothers me and I, I can't quite compute why but it does but I look at Bakayo Saka as an example to go back to him and I look at Martinelli and I see two tremendous footballers who earlier on in the season when they were fit and vibrant and, and not Smith over well. they oh Smith Rowe Smith Rowe is great they, they looked brilliant in their last 10 games Saka's got four goals four goal contributions two of them penalties Smith Rowe won I think Smith Rowe's gone 27 consecutive games without creating a goal as an example. And that's wow. not, and I'm not digging at him. They are talented, but they are not being utilized right. And this, this, no, this but the way this football club has marketed them two in particular, Saka and Smith Rowe, right? Give him number 10. That's Burkamp's number, mate. What have you done to get Burkamp's number? Yeah. You've given out Rocky's number to Saka. Yeah. Even if, even if you're later than that, yeah, you've given Pires his number. Yeah. yeah? Why? Yeah, because they knew that this fan base will lap up any old dross, Terry, yeah, because they have done it for years under Fenger. Because the majority of our fans, globally, locally, wherever it may be, only support this club because of that gold trophy, which, by the way, two days ago was exactly 18 years to the day that we beat Leicester and wow. went invincible, right? 18 years later, you got Martin Keown getting absolutely roasted by Simon Jordan, right, for being a cheerleader. Sitting there going, it's the biggest North London derby in living memory. This is a guy that has won titles for Arsenal Football Club saying this, mate. You've got Ian Wright. Yeah, and by the way, he'll be wheeling out the new shirt on Sunday because we're wearing next year's shirt on Sunday against Everton. Yeah? And they did that as a market employee because they thought we had top four sealed. So they thought, oh, we'll drop next year's shirt. Yeah? And we'll use it against Everton and everyone will run in the club shop. But guess what? It don't matter if we finish fifth because that's an overachievement. Yeah, with a young squad, so everyone will run and buy it anyway. But Ian Wright will be wheeled out to to promote it. Well, within, like, within, hey. within within ten days, this is the thing. Uh, uh, look, as as we say, look, the, we, the, we we were we were four games. Yeah, we were uh, sorry, four points clear with three games to go. We were six points clear at Tottenham with a game in hand at one point. Mate, it's 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 crazy how it fell off the way. I've had that manager six months, Terry. Yeah, with a Mate. with a striker who don't want to be there. With Son that was I, injured. I totally agree. Yeah, Kuluzewski had just come and landed in the country a couple of months. In fact, Kuluzewski didn't land in the country and kick a first ball for Tottenham until the 19th of February. He's got more goal contributions than the creative spark Martin Odegaard. How is that possible? Because all I hear is Tottenham is trash, Tottenham are rubbish, Tottenham are crap. They're irrelevant. So why did top gooners then, that have been saying they're irrelevant, have sleepless nights and have goosebumps for the North London derby if they're irrelevant? How? Yeah. Listen, I I I, 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 agree, I agree with you on that. 